When President Joe Biden declared the pandemic over early this month, it raised plenty of eyebrows from health officials. Including Dr. Scott Miskovich of Premier Medical Group Hawaii, and he joins us now live. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. We always appreciate you being here. Doc, nice to see you both of you. Yeah, great to see it. When you heard the president make that pronouncement, what was your reaction? Uh, I think it was similar to many of the people who have dedicated a large portion of their life to studying COVID. And I'm fortunate to have a U.S. and worldwide audience being on CNN. And I came right out and basically said the truth that it uh, it is not appropriate to say the pandemic is over. You know, there are very defined definitions of what creates a pandemic and how long it takes for a pandemic to be over. And it, there's no way this pandemic is over. And, you know, we already are projecting well into next year. Yeah. And so talk a little bit more about that. You know, what are we expecting for the future of COVID? And especially here in Hawaii, how long you said that well into next year, what exactly can we expect? Well, I'm fortunate because I've dedicated my life and been involved in a lot of high level uh, organizations. So I have contacts throughout the, the world and, you know, we are you know, plotting and planning, looking at the data. And right now what we're looking at, and this is the same thing we've done in the last two winters, is we're tracking Europe. Europe right now in the very civilized parts of Europe Austria is the, has the highest prevalence, and then we have Switzerland, we have France, uh, we have Italy, countries with good data, the UK is picking up, and we're following which variants they have, and then we're following the doubling, how quickly certain variants are increasing, and following hospitalization data. And if we follow that and track that and do projections, this is exactly what happened over the last two years it then will pass over as these people move indoors to the east coast of the united states and often la because people will fly from europe over there and now we have covid so right now what we are projecting is that we will start to see surges in the u.s that will be much more uh pronounced after our thanksgiving holiday into december unfortunately hawaii will probably start paralleling that because we have such a broad base of international travelers and we are projecting that we are going to have that typical january through march just like the u.s will be surge how severe in the hospitalizations, how severe it will be with the, the type of illness, uh, that has to be predicted, but we will see a surge in the state of Hawaii, especially January through March. When you say surge, how many cases are you thinking it's gonna start going up by? Because right now the trend is for it to go down. Yeah, and, and, and Rick, that's a good question because no one can predict that, you know, at this stage, We'll have more data on the predictability using the epidemiologic data by watching what's happening across Europe and looking at the, um, that the, at the immune breakthrough. That's the other thing we have to talk about. Why is this happening? Actually, BA5 is resurging in Europe along with two variants we're really closely watching because basically our immunity from our shots is waning. So that's one of the keys. So, um, you know, at this stage, it is going to go up. Uh, at what percent are we going to be back up to 10,000 for the weekly numbers? We don't know that for sure. So we will see. But, it, you know, I think most of us were predicting we'll easily be back at four or 5,000 if we continue the same data collection. And doctor, real quick before we let you go, uh, of course, the big news of the day, the FDA authorized the bivalent COVID-19 booster for younger children five to 11 today. Yes, very important for parents. You know, your five-year-olds and up are uh, are now authorized. We have both Pfizer and Moderna that are authorized. And one of the keys I want to highlight to parents is if you are two months or more from the last vaccine, whether it was a booster or the primary series, your child is eligible. Okay, that's very, very important. Why is that important? This new uh, bivalent has part of this Omicron that we're watching and worrying about in the, in the winter surge. And basically, get it, get it for your kids. Adults, get it, this is gonna be very crucial. It is safe, all the safety data we're starting to see out since so many people were worried about it at the beginning. Are, are very, very solid. So this is an important time for parents to consider. I want to also highlight Kapuna. 
That's where we're seeing the most deaths now. So we really need to find a way for people over 65 or health risks to get this bivalent. All right, Dr. Scott Miskovich, thank you so much as always for your time. We really appreciate it. Good seeing you both.